Most of the Black Friday sales have now begun and I thought like with previous years it might be helpful if I shared some of the items that I own which are on sale along with little mini reviews of each piece. This is by no means an exhaustive list but I thought it would be a good jumping off point and over my blog I will share more items that I spot on sale that I own and whether I rate it or whether there are little things about it that are just a little bit niggly that I don't like. Now I do want to preface this video by saying that you shouldn't feel any pressure to purchase anything during these Black Friday sales. I think that this year they are even bigger than they've been before. I feel like promotions started at the very beginning of November so I've already gotten a very big head start on all of my Christmas shopping. That said, I do think it's a good opportunity to potentially look at adding something to your wardrobe that you're already considering buying, but getting it at a good discount. And also utilizing it the way that I am to really stretch your Christmas budget a little bit further. Just remember Boxing Day sales are right around the corner. They're I think five, maybe six weeks away. And they're always even better than Black Friday sales. So if you're just thinking about treating yourself, maybe wait a few extra weeks and you'll be able to get something even better. For those of you who are shopping the sales, I will have linked down in the description box below all of my Christmas gift guides, along with a blog post that details all of the best Black Friday and Cyber Week sales, which I will be updating daily. And I will also link a blog post where I share all of my makeup favorites that are on sale too, as I feel like makeup sales tend to start a little bit later than the fashion ones. All right, well that's enough housekeeping from me. Let's dive into it and I'll share the items that I own, which are currently on sale. I thought we should start with knitwear and what better place to start than with Jenny Kane? I've got three sweaters from Jenny Kane here that I want to recommend that are currently on sale that I love in my closet. First up, this half zip sweater. This one I've got in the gray. It's in the cashmere. It is so luxurious, so soft. The zip on it is really nice and smooth. I think if you want the collar to sit a little bit more open, then I would recommend sizing up. Otherwise, go for your usual size because it's a really nice slouchy fit. Because it's not too thick, it tucks into jeans really nicely. Then keeping on that same vibe of cashmere, the Cocoon Cashmere Cardigan also comes in a crop length. And I think this is more versatile than the regular length. So if you're tossing up between the two, go with the crop one because this one is going to tuck really nicely into all of your skirts, shorts, trousers, jeans, etc. And for me, I think this makes it a little bit more versatile because yes, you can wear it open like a cardigan, but also I think it's just a little bit more easier to wear it worn buttoned up as a very deep V top, which I love. My final fave from Jenny Kane is this crew neck sweater. This one is in a cotton and recycled cashmere blend. So it's not as soft as the 100% cashmere pieces, but this is a great contender, especially for those who have more sensitive skin because it is not itchy at all. It's really nice and thick too. I love the slouchy fit of it as well. I just think it is so unbelievably chic and it's one of my favorites in my closet. I kind of want to continue on with knitwear and we've also got this recycled cashmere sweater from Everlane. I'm obsessed with the color of this because it is this lovely kind of deep mossy green. I also purchased the alpaca knit in the same color. It's called Kumbaba and I just think it's a nice way to add some depth, especially when wearing an all black outfit and it does have that mock neck so it's going to keep you really nice and toasty even if you forget to take your scarf with you for the day. This is a boxy fit. I'm wearing it in the size small. I will have all my sizing info linked down in the description box below. W Concept have the most incredible sale right now with an extra 15% off and I own quite a few favorites from the brand. I wanted to highlight these wool trousers from Front Row because I think for many of you who live in the Northern Hemisphere and want a trouser that is more tailored, these would be a really beautiful option. They have the pleats at the front too, which just creates the most lovely elegant shape to them and they're just a really classic style for something that is a little bit more affordable and also really fluid these ones from gentle herd they have a tiered discount on their website right now so i think the minimum spend is maybe 100 us dollars but these are i think around the 75 us dollar mark when they're full price these ones are a wool polyester blend and they wash incredibly well i can't even tell you how many times i've had to throw them in the washing machine as a result of our kids getting them all grubby and they look exactly the same as when I first added them to my wardrobe. My only gripe about them is the button area where you can see that the button is pulling ever so slightly. Uh, this is something that I rectify by just wearing them with a belt. I was really surprised to see that the Le Mer crossbody bag is on sale, the croissant bag, which I have gotten so many questions about. The leather on this is absolutely beautiful. It is so, so soft. I really like that the pull tab is really pillowy and just quite squishy. It's 
quite fun really. And the zipper on it is really smooth. The interior is lined with a cotton canvas. Probably my only gripe about this bag is the fact that it doesn't have an interior pocket, which is something I would really, really like. Um, and I do find that if you do overstuff it, it doesn't look that nice worn up against the body. It kind of sticks out just a little bit too much. I had the small size, but I think it is really well made and it is a beautiful bag. If you have been looking for this type of thing and you don't carry too many essentials with you on a day-to-day -day basis. We need to talk about Blanca Studios because this Carolina shirt has been one of my favorites since I purchased it. It is 100% cotton, but it's that type of cotton that is really drapey and fluid. So the way that it hangs when you tuck it into jeans or into shorts is really beautiful and it just kind of billows out really softly, which is something that I really like when I'm wearing something like this. Also, the sleeves on it are really long, so this might be something that may bother you, but personally, I love it. You could also wear the cuffs done up, but I like to wear them loose most of the time. I was looking at the website and pretty much everything is on sale, so a good time to buy. These are great, actually worn open as well as more of a cover up. A good cheap and cheerful one to mention is this basic racerback rib tank from H&M. I really love how thick the cotton is on this. It doesn't really feel too sheer at all and it is so comfortable. It washes incredibly well and it is something that I rely on a lot when it comes to putting together my outfits. It's inexpensive already but even better with the site-wide discount that they have going on at the moment. The Everlane A-Line Denim Short, need I say more? These are my favorite so much so I have them in four colors. If you have been looking for a denim short that is not too short, and that has a really nice wide leg opening, which is universally flattering, then these are the one. I also don't feel like they're too expensive full price either. I wanted to show you here both the blue and then the green ones, which I added to my closet recently. I purchased these when I saw that they were on sale and I've been so thrilled with the addition of them to my closet. I find the style runs ever so slightly large, so size down one size from your usual denim size. Final pair of trousers that I just had to share with you are my House of Dagmar Boucle Valentina crop trousers. These are one of my most worn items in my closet and I don't think that it is hard to see why. They are so good. They are a straight leg. They do come in a longer length as well if you aren't into the cropped trouser, but just not in the boucle. I think the texture on them is just so visually interesting, is dimensional and uh, it, these again are easy to care for too because you can throw them in the washing machine. I wear them in the size 36. My Jill Sander Agnoletto sandals. I love these. The road do a very similar heeled version of these. Uh, I just think they're really interesting with the T-bar and strap across the foot. They're so incredibly comfortable. You can probably see from the cutaways here they're starting to have the Aladdin effect at the toe which is just something that happens when you have a pointed toe shoe but they're just so beautifully made and I was able to wear them walking around miles even just the first day that I put them on. I wanted to mention the swimsuit from Andy Swim, which I took with me on our recent trip down to the beach. This is the tall torso length, which I can't even tell you how hard it is to find one pieces that cater to those with a longer torso. So the fact that they offer both a regular and long torso or tall length is something I really appreciate. I love the crisscross detail on the back, which you can adjust to, which is absolutely fabulous. And this is such a comfortable one piece to wear. I felt really, really good in it when I was wearing it at the pool too. You all know how much I love Marl and I was thrilled to see that the Maya tabard which I have is on sale. So this is a great one for wearing over the top of things. It is a little bit more formal because of that mock neck and then also the capped sleeve detail as well. It has this beautiful rib texture to the cotton. This one is easy to care for too because you can just throw it in the washing machine. It has these high side slits. So this is very chic worn over a slip skirt but also it can be tucked in as well. If you're tucking it into jeans and trousers it's going to be a little bit trickier because the length of it is quite long. However, if you are tucking it into a skirt, it's absolutely fine. Or something that has more of a dropped crotch, you shouldn't have any issue with there being too much fabric or bulk around your midsection. We have my Vivaya knee-high boots. These shoes are so comfortable that you can run in them. I love the heel. They are giving me Jill Sander, but without the Jill Sander price point. And these are great if you want something to wear with your midi skirts that is going to create a really seamless look. 
They are a fitted sock style boot and they're wool and they're lined as well. So they're really insulating, perfect for the colder months. And being that stretch fabric, they're gonna fit your feet, regardless of whether you have wide feet or not. I know this blazer is a bit of a Marmite piece, but I absolutely adore it. It is from the Frankie shop. It is their oversized B blazer. I'm wearing the size small here, and I definitely could have sized down because it is so, so roomy. But for me, this is a style which I find works back with everything in my closet, no matter the context or the occasion. And that is something that I really, really appreciate. I've also found that it is worn really well, but it's been something I've reached for a lot recently. And I think it's because I've really been enjoying playing around with the proportions of what I'm wearing. I wanted to share another pair of trousers that weren't in a neutral. These ones are from front row again, and they're in a nylon taffeta. So they have this really nice, really nice light quality to them. Uh, and I love the dusty blue color. As you can tell, I'm really loving these desaturated hues right now. It's a nice way to branch out into color for someone who likes to wear neutrals. These come with a matching nylon belt, which is really chic, and I like the wide fit through the leg. These are a really good spring option, actually, and would be something that would be really nice to wear around Easter time. I spotted that my by far Tanya mules are on sale, so I did want to kind of mention them here. These are such a beautiful shoe in the nude patent. However, if you are thinking about buying them, go for the leather. They will be so much more comfortable because patent tends to rub. These fit true to size, and I think the most beautiful thing about these is the architectural heel. It's the thing that makes them really easy to walk around in, and one of those eye-catching elements I really love. Those are the items that I own, which are currently on sale. I really hope that you found this video helpful and useful, and I would like to know what you are thinking about either treating yourself or treating a loved one to this holiday season down in the comment section below. So please do let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're having an amazing week. There are going to be a lot more videos from me this week, so keep an eye out in your subscription box, and I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!